Jet squadrons fly in a V formation, and there is a very important reason why they do so. Every plane in the series creates a diagonal slipstream. That means the plane flying behind it meets less air resistance and thus has to expend less energy. That means a 20% energy saving. Migratory birds are surprisingly possessed of that same information. They, like jets, also fly in a V formation. Every bird takes advantage of the slipstream set up by the one in front of it. It is tiring to be the one at the head of the formation, and birds take turns in occupying the position. There is a great secret here. The fact that the V formation allows less energy to be consumed in flight was only discovered by aerodynamic engineers. How is it that migratory birds also know it? How do they organize themselves in such a conscious manner? How does every bird in the flock know its proper position? These questions bring us back once more to the truth of creation. Allah has inspired living things to use the flawless bodies He has created for them in the best possible way. Migratory birds have a second way of saving energy. A bird's flapping its wings causes another slipstream to form behind it. That is why birds all flap their wings at the same time. Each bird flaps its wings at the same time as the one in front of it. That leads to completely harmonious and planned flight. Have they not looked at the birds above them, with wings outspread and folded back? Nothing holds them up but the All-Merciful. He sees all things. How is it that migratory birds find their way on journeys of thousands of kilometers? Scientists studying the matter found themselves in the face of yet another miracle of creation. The stork heads the list of expert navigators. Storks travel thousands of kilometers every year. Starting from the coast of Africa, they pass over the Mediterranean before reaching Europe. However, since one whole season has gone by and plants have since come into leaf, Europe now looks very different. So how do storks find their way on that long journey? Research has shown that storks possess a special system in their bodies which detects the Earth's magnetic field. They use this natural compass to follow that field and thus find their way. That allows them to complete their journey without getting lost and find where they had nested the previous year.
A warplane uses several pieces of electronic equipment to establish its direction and flight coordinates. Yet snow geese fly much greater distances and know what direction they are flying in even when surrounded by clouds and using no equipment at all. There is little oxygen thousands of meters high in the atmosphere. That is why pilots use oxygen masks. But snow geese have no need of such things. That is because the special design in their lungs and blood cells allows them to breathe even at such altitudes. Furthermore, their bodies are created to a special design that protects at temperatures even as low as minus 55 degrees. The design and technology in their bodies is so perfect that a warplane pilot would give his eye teeth to have them. Snow geese travel a tremendous distance of thousands of kilometers from regions near the North Pole down to the Gulf of Mexico. Just like storks, they too have been provided with a miraculous magnetic direction finding system. This allows them to use the Earth's magnetic field to navigate. They never get lost on their long journey. So who installed that magnetic direction finder in these birds' bodies? There is no doubt that such a sensitive system cannot be the result of mere coincidence. These features of migratory birds are clear proof that it was Allah who created them. The most interesting feature of migratory birds emerges after the sun has gone down. When they fly by night, they navigate by means of the stars. That is very definitely a great marvel. As there are millions of stars in the sky, and it is by no means easy to use them to navigate. Actually, people in the past used the very same method. Until the invention of the compass, Sailors navigated by calculating the position and angles of the stars. Yet man used stellar maps, and he possesses both reason and consciousness. These small birds have no such stellar maps, nor have they been taught about the position of the constellations. Yet they miraculously know the position of the stars and how to navigate by them and fly in the darkness without ever losing their way. Research has shown that even newly hatched chicks know the position of the stars. So who is it who teaches the position of the stars to them before they are even hatched? The way that a tiny chick knows from birth which of all the many stars it needs to follow and which it will use as a guide is most miraculous. All these things demonstrate that Allah both created birds and inspired their behavior. In fact, Allah reveals the following truth about birds in a verse from the Quran. 
Do you not see that everyone in the heavens and earth glorifies Allah, as do the birds with their outspread wings? Each one knows its prayer and glorification. Allah knows what they do.